Are you making these mistakes on social media? That's this week on Think Tank Tuesday. Hi, I'm Paul Potratz, and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. So years ago, I used to go to the Rotary Club with my dad. It was every Wednesday we would meet in this hotel. Yeah, I know, but and the food was bad. It was really bad. But what was really great about it was that everybody knew my dad, and my dad knew everyone. If you needed a car, you'd go to my dad. If you needed insurance, you'd go to Jack. If you were looking for a new house, then you'd go to Steve. You knew all of these individuals, and they were, had all different types of careers. That was social media years ago. Today, we have Facebook, we have Instagram, we have Twitter, we have LinkedIn, we have, we have, we have. Social media has really not changed. The way we do social media has changed because we're doing it online. We're doing it digitally. We're carrying social media around in the hand, right in our hand. So is social media really any different than what it used to be with the Rotary Club, the Elks Club, the Kiwanis Club, the Lions Club? I mean, all the different clubs, going to church. I mean, those are all social media events. So here's the question I have for you. Why are you hiring companies to post for you? I mean, let me, let me clarify this. You can do social media advertising. In other words, you can do a post, you can do a promoted post, you can sponsor a post, and you can target individuals with your ads. That's social media advertising. The question I'm asking you, though, is why would you hire a company to post about what's going on at your dealership, to post what's going on you know, in your life, really, is what we're talking about. Because would you have hired somebody years ago to go to the Rotary Club, the Kiwanis Club, the Elks Club, or any of those clubs on your behalf? No, you wouldn't have. So why are you paying a company that doesn't even know anything about your market, anything about you, anything about your dealership, but you're paying them to post on your behalf, and you're wanting them to respond to those posts? No, you've got to stop it. Stop the craziness. Because social media is a great way for you to be able to connect with people in your own market. Because with a social media strategy, you shouldn't be connecting to everybody, whether they're in India or you know three or four states away. You should be connecting to individuals with your circle of influence. That's what social media is about. You need to be talking to people in your backyard, in your market, in the surrounding market. Individuals that are going to do business with you. And as a salesperson, as a manager, as a person working in a deal, Dealership, you need to be responding to those posts. You need to be building those relationships because when the time comes, they'll do business with you. People like to buy from their friends. So if you think it's easier to hire a company, you're selling yourself short. You're losing out on opportunities. Are your ads lacking creativity? Do you or your agency not know digital? Are you not hitting your goals? Sounds like it's time for a new agency. Let's talk today. Call 866-543-4485 or email yes at ppadv.com. And if you're one of those that thinks, oh, social media, it's a fad, it's a waste of time, well, here's the question I got to you. Did you ever know that guy that used to go to the Rotary Club and the, and the Kiwanis and the JCs or the, you know, the Chamber Mixer? Have you ever known that person? Have you known that person that really worked those relationships? How successful were they? They were probably pretty successful. They knew a lot of people, and it seemed like they really didn't have to work because people were coming to them wanting to do business with them because they knew everybody and they were trusted in their community. If you start using social media the way the Rotary Club used to happen and the Lions Club and all those clubs, by building those relationships with people in your market, you'll start selling more. People will know you more, you will sell more. Not only that, you'll be able to start recruiting new talent. You'll be able to bring salespeople and service riders and service managers and managers into your dealership to come work for you because you will be a staple of the community. That's how powerful social media is. I know there's people saying, oh, you can't sell off social media. Well, here's the question. Could you sell at the Rotary Club? Could you sell at the Chamber Mixer? Maybe not right there and then. You weren't selling a car in that meeting, but the relationship was started that resulted in a sale. 
That's how powerful social media is. So stop hiring people to do social media for you. I'll see you next week.